Hi, my name is David Walker, and here we are in the middle of winter. It's cold out here, I promise you. We're not acting like it's cold, it really is. But we can fish. Now, I know half the country, it's really cold, and your lakes and streams and what have you are all froze over. The luxury about being in the south, where I live in Tennessee, we're in East Tennessee, we're on Cherokee Lake right now, is that the water is still open, even though it's cold. So what you have to do is you have to dress for that. And what I mean dress for is a lot of layers. Now I've got insulated uh, guide wear on right here. This is waterproof, windproof, and it's also insulated. So it's really helping uh, keep that body heat in there because the wind, especially when you're running, you really notice that cold when you start that big oven route back there and head down the lake. That's when you're gonna know where those little cracks and crevices are. You're gonna feel it immediately. So I got a lot of layers on. I keep my life jacket on. The whole time while I'm out there fishing, I'm sitting here against the bank and taking it off, but the whole day fishing, I'm gonna keep that life jacket on. I'm gonna wear it when I'm running, I'm gonna wear it when I'm fishing. Any slip and you end up in that water, you're gonna want that life jacket on. When you've got this much clothing on, you're gonna get extremely heavy, extremely quick. You're not gonna be able to swim like you can in the summertime. That water is gonna affect you immediately. Have that life jacket on. Keep you and your buddy with you. Go out there, take somebody fishing always have somebody with you but now when I'm out there fishing it's cold like this I'm dressed for it I'm ready what do the fish want what do they like one of my first baits I'm gonna go to is when I'm winter fishing is crankbaits once again it's one of my favorite baits crankbaits and jigs they're so versatile because you can use them year-round now this time of year these little shad colored crankbaits like this I mean this is an ideal bait in the winter time now obviously they eat shad baits year round but in winter time what happens is usually that water starts to get a lot clearer we don't have that runoff like we do in the springtime we don't have that algae growing water gets a lot clearer these sort of very flashy looking um, minnow type actions are very effective now if we get some runoff and that water does get some color to it I'm gonna go with these brighter colors just to enhance that look for that fish but I do like these smaller sizes I like that small profile um, this same lake in the summertime I might be using a giant deep diving crankbait the same fish this time of year they really like the smaller profiles um, I'll do the same thing with my jigs this here is this is a new jig out it's a very small jig I'm using actually using the uh, uh, Ned rig the TRD on the back of that this is just a, basically a, a, a micro finesse jig it's a skirted jig but it's very small I'm gonna fish this on lighter line this is a 12 pound test line working around the same rocks and covers that I would in the summertime but I'm just downsizing that presentation I'm gonna, and you're gonna have to fish it slow I think that's what's key about wintertime is the fish are the same temperature as the water. They don't have any outer wear on. They're not bundled up in their guide wear. So their reaction is much slower when you have that cold water. They're moving slower. They still have to feed. They're not gonna feed as often. They're not gonna be quite as aggressive, but they're still gonna bite. So if you can slow down and keep that bait around that fish is what's key. Um, this right here is a jig and spoon. Now when it comes to cold weather, these hard baits like a spoon, I, this is probably one of the first lures I ever used to catch fish in the winter time when I first came down into the southern part of the, the states and, and fishing when it's cold. Um, it's basically almost like an ice fishing technique where you're vertically fishing up and down. Now years ago we used to use flashers to find bait fish and find those rock piles and find that stuff away from the bank. Now, with the advent of the, the graphs that we have, it's so much easier to find that bait. And what I'll do is, is I'll look for those big balls of bait that are out in the middle of these pockets that are out there kind of deep. And I'm gonna drop that spoon right through those fish, but I'm not gonna fish it in the group of, of the bait. I'm gonna fish it underneath it. Underneath there is so many times where those fish are sitting and they see that giant cloud of bait fish above them. This fish falls through there and is acting reatically. Now it's, it's, it's making a lot of movement, which in the winter time, you don't necessarily want that, but it's staying in one spot. It's not moving away from it. They're not have to run it down. They're gonna see that attention. You're causing attention to this lure, but it's staying there near where they're at so they can come over to that bait and react to it. Another great wintertime bait is a jerk bait. 
Now, this is a bait that I'm gonna use, especially on those days when the fish really aren't hugging that bottom, when they float up there and suspended off of that. Catching a suspended fish on a jerk bait is, I mean, that's where it really shines. It's a great lure for that. But once again, I, I give it a lot of action, but I'm gonna let it sit there. So many times when it's just sitting there suspended, not even moving, is when you'll see your line. So you're gonna be a line watcher on this deal. Give it, give it some good jerks, pause it, and count. You're gonna to have to force yourself to let that bait sit there and pause, and so many times you'll see your line jump or mo start moving away. That's when the fish has got it. So thing about winter time is bundle up for it and be patient because the fish will bite, you just gotta give them a chance.